everybody. If you don't know me, I am Karen Campbell and I'm the owner of Awesome Art School because art school should be awesome, obviously. And um, and I also just came out with this brand new book which is hitting Amazon bookshelves like any blasted mimet. But anyways, mixed media magic. And it's full of awesome projects and inspiration and techniques and uh, just general like how to make magic out of your mixed media projects instead of madness or you know mayhem so anyways today's video I'm going to talk about and teach you how to use gelatos to make beautiful skin colors um, I in one of the projects we do in mixed media magic the e-course we're gonna be doing this girl and you can sign up for that at awesomeartschool.com also but this whole girl is painted with just a base coat of just um, like a matte regular craft paint and then all the shading 90% of this shading is done using gelatos so when you're doing light skin tones you want to start with like a light base this is flesh tone okay and then you can do your shading in kind of increasing depths of gelato colors so um, I don't know what these are peach guava and metallic melon are the ones that I use for that <clears throat> then I usually put a coat of Mod Podge or you could use um, <clears throat> what's it called gloss medium and varnish you could use this also and I usually coat that on the whole project okay it seals all those layers in and then you can kind of doodle on top with pens and I love to use pit pens because you can do additional shading with that and you'll see that in two seconds actually you'll see that in almost all of my YouTube mixed media videos um, if you want to do dark skin tones <clears throat> and this is the project I'm going to be doing with you today um, you, you're gonna start you're gonna do the opposite so we're gonna start with a dark skin tone so this is dark chocolate by Americana again just craft paint um, and then we're gonna move up the value scale so I use distress crayons um, interchangeably with my gelatos so if you have those instead that they work exactly the same way um, and then you can kind of work your way up the shading um, I didn't use this one so so much that's chocolate and then this is vintage photo and then this one I used a whole bunch is the butterscotch okay so I shaded, um, I kind of shaded up the scale and in the light color skin I shaded down the scale, right? So this I started with the darkest and I worked my way to the lighter and the opposite with the first one. Am I making any sense? I keep, I'm just saying the same thing over and over. Anyways, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when we start the video. So I never activate these with anything other than like an, either a matte mod podge or that varnish that I was talking about. And it just sets those layers in. These are water soluble, but I never activate them with water. You can read more about these in my book and let's get started. this tutorial today um, because using gelatos to make skin tones is just really easy and fun and it just produces really amazing results also um, I do have a an additional piece to this uh, video today and you can find it at awesomeartschool.com I do a free video tutorial every single month just for my email subscribers um, and this month's was on um, how to choose a color scheme for your projects and so it, it attaches to this video in particular but um, there's all sorts of videos on there from like how to draw hair to expressions and um, oh my gosh full-length mixed-media projects like real-time um, that you can find on there too so anyways while I've been blabbling about that I have adhered a napkin with matte medium onto my canvas then I took a credit card and spread three different colors of paint down which are in the description box um, I use some washi tape at the corners and now I'm painting with my fingers and that's what you've missed um, but this is really about the skin tones that's why I had this on like hyper hyper speed um, 
just because the background um, it was just fun. I was just painting intuitively at this point. I'm using matte medium to just go over the tape because it doesn't stick. I put it on the wet paint, which isn't super smart. Um, so I was just adhering that down a little bit better. Um, I'm using a Magnum Sharpie, which I'd never recommend doing this ever. But I get in these weird moods where I just... <laughs> Even though things are bad ideas, I do them anyways, and this is one of them. Um, I did it recently for a big, awesome, like, mohawk mixed media project, and I really loved the look of it. Um, I don't know. I just felt like using it, so that's why I'm using it. That's that's the beauty of art is you can do whatever you feel like. Um, so, yeah, I went in with my Sharpie, and I'm just uh, drawing my outline and face and kind of experimenting. I wanted to do um, a girl with dark skin tones today. I always do the same Caucasian chicks over and over and it's just kind of not cool after a while. <laughs> um, and so I, this is long time overdue um, for the tutorial as well as just for my own um, making. And I was, I went on to Pinterest and um, just they're the most beautiful references. Um, I think I put in like African princess and these women's pictures that showed up are the most beautiful people I've ever seen in my entire life. So if you go into my Pinterest account, which is at cool mama Karen, C O O L M A M A, then you can find, you can follow that whimsical faces board is, um, I have lots of references in there. Okay. We've entered the alien freaky freaky stage at the moment I took a picture of this I put it on Instagram the other day it's hilarious it's like terrifying so I basically what I did is I put on one base coat of this uh, Americana dark chocolate paint and then I went in with a second layer of gesso just white gesso mixed with that same paint color okay so that was the dark chocolate and gesso and that's it that's what you see on her face is just two coats of that and then I just went around with my Stabilo all pencil in black and I just outlined her eyes and her eyebrows and like redefined her features. And I'm just running over um, those features with the matte medium. And this is where the skin tone blending magic happens, right, right here. So I have my gelatos and I have my Distress Crayons. I use them exactly the same way. They're not the same product, but they act the same to me. So I use them the same. Um, so what I do is on um, the areas that need to be enhanced and uh, a darker shade, I'm going in with like, I find the color that matches the paint color the closest. So I had this walnut stain in the Distress Crayon. And so I'm using that at the edges and the areas that need to be shaded. So around the face, eyes, nose, under the, under the nose, under the lip, under the chin. Okay, so that becomes the darkest air because areas you can see I'm holding two distressed crayons sticks. I have a dark, dark one, that's the walnut, and then I have a lighter one. Now I was experimenting because I don't generally do um, dark skin women. I you know this was a lot of experimenting for me. I had to just try things out and see kind of how they worked. And what I found was that if I start at the darkest areas on the side and I move to towards the highlighted areas and I actually have a tutorial on my free monthly tutorial classroom on how to know where to put the highlights and the shadows that will help you also I think that was last month actually and this month is July so that would have been June so um, and so what I do is I when I move towards the lighter areas I'm then moving towards using the lighter color gelato so I start at the dark area like I said with a walnut stain and then I progressed with the vintage photo and then that's when I switch to the rusty hinge and then the lightest of the lighto lightest of the lighto the lightest of the gelato is the butterscotch and so you have this like gradation of color from darkest to lightest as it goes from the shadow areas to the highlighted areas of the face and you all you do to blend them is use your finger and it's very soft it's almost like oil pastels but these are reactive with water but you don't you don't use water to activate them in this mixed media instance um, so you can keep adding keep adding and keep blending and keep blending until you have this beautiful glowing skin and you can use the same exact 
process when you're doing light Caucasian women as well. You would start with a lighter and then you would add your shadows in darker and darker. And it's actually really, really funny. You're really almost like sculpting the angles of the face as you're adding those the product um, in varying values from darker to lighter as you go from the again the away the the areas on the face that are farthest from you know the front and the light source assuming the light source is coming straight onto your face the areas that go, bend away from you are going to be the darkest and the, and the features of the face that are coming towards you again are going to be the lightest so your nose the bridge of your nose the cheeks your little eye brows ridges and then like your chin is pointy there um, so yeah she's starting to come together I wanted to give her more authentic hair I didn't really but then I always make sort of generally like whimsical hair on all my girls so I decided she needed to have whimsical hair also so I have this tool that I have not used in years it's actually from the children's section at Jerry's Artorama I bought it maybe 10 years ago I don't think I've used it for eight years um, it's just like a whirly sponge and I thought it was just Burp. I didn't really know it was going to look. I didn't test it. I just went to town with this, this black gesso. Um, and it was perfect. <laughs> it just banged out exactly what I wanted. And it took about four seconds. And then I just swished in some green and we are good to go. Now this is matte Mod Podge. And what I'm doing is I have all those gelato layers. And this will slightly, ever so slightly, activate those just slightly and then it sets them so what ends up happening is that like it perfectly blends them together so you blend it all with your finger and then um, the Mod Podge kind of takes care of the rest and you know, I just hit it with my hair dryer and the whole thing dries in about two minutes it's like a miracle <laughs> you can also use um, Liquitex makes a nice um, gloss medium varnish that has the same effect but it's much glossier and it takes a long time to dry one of my subscribers recommended that i use it and i did try it it does work i still prefer the matte medium but there are options you can probably use any sort of gel medium as well but matte mod podge is just cheaper and i buy it by the gallon so so now what happens is it dries and then you have this like plastic surface that you can play on. So I usually at this point switch, I stop using my water soluble materials and I switch to my um, permanent materials. And this is on page 14 of the Mixed Media Magic books. I have this little call out and this like hint, like my favorite artsy thing to do, which is this right here. When I add, I start with my gelatos or my water soluble materials and then I freeze them with a Mod Podge and then I switch to my permanent materials. And this is when I go in and I play with my pens. And I'm playing with pit pens and I'm trying different colors to see what color is that highlight? Is it white? Is that too bright? Is it yellow? What shade is this? Is that so if you see I'm changing it up and changing it up until I hit the the right color that I think um, plays nicely with the gelatos that are underneath. And the awesome thing about this too, you guys, is that you can just take a baby wipe. If it doesn't look good, you can just wipe it off. So you have this little window where if you're using the pit pens and the Poscas too, really, if you dab it on, you can see I'm playing with some sparkles. It's too much, so all I do is take a wipe and you can wipe it right off. It's crazy, crazy easy fun. So you can experiment and you can play really and then erase if you don't like it. I'm doing all sorts of erasing, adding, subtracting, adding, subtracting. You can blend, It stayed, those pit pens stay wet for a second because that surface is so slick. So you can color on it and then you can just blend it in, blend, blend, blend easy peasy it's like painting only better because you can erase and you just use your finger <laughs> you just use the same darn finger over and over again um, just adding some more details in her eyes and look her skin is just positively glowing and you can go in with some finer pit pens that's what these are pit pens come in all sorts of different um, have all sorts of different nibs and so and same with Posca's have a really nice range um, and I'll put all the links to these in the description box, but I just love how she came out. But it's the same process for doing light skin women as dark women. You just have to pick some shades of a color and you have to have, you know, in 
progressively lighter and darker shades and then you just apply them necessary you just what's important is needing to know where the highlights are and where the shadows go and again I have tutorials for that um, and you can also just look at references. You can follow along with me on other tutorials. I mean, there's no endless, there's no end to the fun in the mixed media department. So I added buttons because you know what? I felt like it. Mm -hmm. I did. I wanted to add buttons, so I did. <laughs> and I'm not sorry. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I think that making skin tones of any color is really easy and really fun using the gelato technique. Um, if you want to check out my book, you are more than welcome to, and um, that's on Amazon all around the world, and the Mixed Media Magic book um, is available on Amazon. Oh, I just said that. Uh, the e-course is available at awesomeartschool.com. There's 10 different projects um, of varying increasingly uh, difficult projects and uh, they are all a ton of fun. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section and let me know what your favorite method of making skin tones is. Thanks guys!